So if the resurrection of Jesus Christ is based on a historical event and historical truth that either happened or it didn't, um, can I give any evidences for this historical event? Can I prove that the resurrection of Jesus Christ happened about 2,000 years ago? And uh, this was the challenge I had a couple weeks ago in class, and, and, I, and I went through uh, the legacy of the, the evidence I've looked at, and I think it's tremendously compelling. Uh, first of all, we have an empty tomb, okay? We have an historical event, the death of Jesus Christ, which many uh, historians of the time, from Josephus and Pliny the Younger and, and Tacitus wrote about, let alone the nine different writers of the New Testament scriptures. We have the death of Jesus Christ. The response to his death as he was buried in a tomb by both the Romans and the Jews was, his body's missing. I mean, obviously, to quell any kind of, of, of new religion or new movement, it would be very easy to just produce the body and it's over. And the Romans had every incentive to do that, and the Jewish uh, authorities had every incentive to do that. But there was no body to produce. The, the, the historical evidence for the empty tomb is very compelling. And as a matter of fact, you have a historical story that, that, that goes on for quite some time through the Jewish uh, lineage, which is that the disciples of Jesus stole the body. Because the tomb was empty, the body was gone. Well, then we go to these appearances after uh, Jesus' death. You have records uh, throughout Scripture of a couple different disciples interacting with this risen Jesus. And then bigger groups, smaller groups. At one point, Paul tells us about nearly 500 that experienced the risen Christ within about 40 days of, of his resurrection. 40 days of this empty tomb event. Very compelling. Because Paul even tells us, a lot of these people, as I'm writing this, are still alive. Go check it out. Go ask them. So very dramatic. Uh, were they hallucinating? Were they sharing in some kind of spiritual experience? I mean, do you have mass hallucinations? Do you have mass dreams and visions? I, I don't think so. We, we, have, we have records of very tangible uh, experiences with Jesus Christ. Then the spread of Christianity. Remember, you had just, just weak fishermen. They're, they're despondent. They're, they're, their teacher was dead. And they, they, they go off back to Galilee area. They, they, they leave. And all of a sudden, three days later, they're lit up. Something happened to these, these very simple people. Um, would they make this up? Why all of a sudden were they these, they were these very powerful forces for the resurrected Christ? If they didn't experience the resurrected Christ, they sure do think they did. Uh, they sure do think they had this experience because what, were, what was their goal? To get their names written in history books? I mean, they were ostracized by society. They lost a lot of their family. They lost a lot of their economic uh, uh, well-being because they were cut off. So something lit these people up. Okay? And then you look at the testimony of their martyrdom. Not only were they lit up to spread this story, not only were they just supernaturally empowered, but most of them died for this story. Now see, if it was a lie... If he really didn't rise from the dead, what do you have to gain by taking a knife to your head? See, again, this isn't dying for a faith like people do today, 2,000 years later. Yes, you're dying for a heartfelt belief that Jesus Christ rose again. It's the same that the, the uh, uh, Muslim extremists flying airplanes into towers on 9-11. They martyred themselves for a faith. The difference with the first century martyrs was they were dying for a known event. They were there. They were eyewitnesses. They would be dying for a known lie. That's a big difference. Human nature, when life or liberty are at stake, is very simple. You protect your own hide. Okay? Maybe one whack job will take the knife, but not the whole conspiracy. You see, it would fall, and history proves that out time and time again. So when you look at the evidence for an empty tomb, you look at the appearances after his death, you look at this remarkable spread of, of a religion based on this event, you look at the testimony of these martyrs who gave their lives for an event, a historical truth. You, you have to be really perplexed at the notion that this was just a myth that popped up out of thin air.